Hey, welcome everybody. We're some live stuff and I um, need to share all this fun stuff out. And then we'll get started. We're just gonna do some setting up, some clipping, hang out. If you wanna chat, let's chat. Otherwise, it'll just be me setting up. So nothing exciting. There won't be uh, some massive amount of excitement happening every 10 seconds like you're supposed to do when you do a live stream. It'll just be me goofing around because I thought I'd catch up with you. It's been a while. All right, hang on while we share and do things. Okay. Now I can't put the Twitter here, so that's a pity. I'm just going to do that on my PC. I'll be right back. Just chill for a second. Look at the screen. There we go. All well, the board, whatever you want to call it. Listen to the air conditioner, how's that? Okay, that took a little longer than I thought, but so be it. All right, most of the setup is going to occur probably in this area by the time I get done uh, chatting with you, and we'll uh, have a little sip of our cocktail to fortify ourselves. You can always see some of the Soviet units set up in the background, and uh, I've got a clip as we go here, so we're just going to get after it. All these units are going to go into 1732. So let's see where the division is at. The 19th Panzer goes 1732. It's not going to be there. It's going to be, yes, it is. Actually, 1732 is going to be right here. I'm going to. Now, we, if we recall from last time, we've got some pretty wonky zooming capabilities when it's there. That's what I thought would happen. So I'm just going to leave this sort of <laughs> sort of zoomed out like that. And we'll, we'll adjust as needed. And kind of go for things from there. And my wife is watching the Texas A&M game upstairs. And hopefully that is all going well. I'm usually required to kiss her every time the Aggies score. That's a tradition of the Texas A&M football team, or, or fans, uh, I don't know whether that's because they were scoring a lot or not scoring very much at all, I never really did ask what the rationale behind that was. Okay, so that division starts right there, I'm going to close the door. <coughs> ACL Fest music thumping in the background, and I can hear uh, microwaves and TVs upstairs. So I apologize if there's a lot of background noise right now. It's only air conditioning, but who knows what could happen. So now we're going to put our 14th motorized. This is a great way to keep myself entertained. I, I, I don't feel as bad talking to you 
as I do talking to myself as I'm clipping these counters and looking at where all the chats go. Uh, so we're going to put 14th Motorized in 1833, which is going to be right next door. But also in there is an engineering unit and an artillery piece. And when I uh, pull these units, I do not pay, except for the main formations, I don't pay attention to the designations of you know, the 504th uh, Engineering Regiment. I'm just going to grab an equivalent unit. So for all of you folks that are detail-oriented people, you will notice that, oh, come on, zooming. Gee whiz, that's so sensitive. It's only sensitive like that when I'm, um, when I'm uh, uh, live streaming, otherwise it's fine. Let me show you something here. There, there are a number of errors in the, in the set, and I don't know if these have all been caught. I checked the errata, and I must admit I haven't looked super detailed at it, but I'm gonna gently lift the box up and move it over. You'll see that, uh, 10th SS regiment there, it says 236, but on the, on the, on the setup chart it's 126. And there's only one 10th SS regiment available. So I'm just gonna assume that that's the right one. And the other interesting thing is it has an orange bar on it without a hex designation, which is usually what they do have. Hey, Devin, good to see you, mate. <clears throat> and, uh, and, uh, 2232, so I'm gonna put these guys in 2232, which is gonna be, is that map C still? Yes, it is, 2232, 26, 22. It's gonna be right there in that little village of Treyberg, or Trueberg, I think it is. Uh, so there are a number of little errors here and there that we've just gotta to have to deal with. And I, I find the unit, place it there, mull about it for a minute, Relook in the in the setup charts to see if there's anything there, and then uh, see what we can do to, to you know to fix it or replace it. And in fact, uh, there are a handful of those issues on the Soviet side as well. So now we're going to put the 20th motorized out. So all of you guys that know your history will know that the 20th motorized went in hex 2430, <clears throat> wherever that is, uh, which is just one hex. Is 2430. You'll notice with the hex numbering as well that it worked out uh, actually all across here it works out number wise. No, it doesn't. So this is row 24 here, and that's on map C, and this is map D, and this is row 22. Notice how we're, we're offset a little bit here, and as best I can tell, that's exactly how it goes. So there is a little bit of adjustment to do, and it does throw things off a tad, uh, numbering-wise, but which I find that good because it means that I, I'm not going to inadvertently put things on map D when they belong on map C and, and vice versa. All right, look, 2531, 2531. Here we've got the Army uh, Group North Boundary which none shall pass, though you can trace supply, and things like that on it. It's interesting to see where all these units line out. I have not uh, seen a detailed assessment of where everything goes <clears throat> uh, on a game before at this level, at the sort of divisional and regimental level, 26, 28. So this may not be particularly exciting for you, and that's okay. You're welcome to piss off and go do something useful, like go play a game. Uh, but I thought if you wanted to chat, since we hadn't caught up, might be a good time to chat. So if you're here, say hi. I see folks are sending me private messages as well. That really doesn't help. And uh, I need to get rid of that somehow. There we go. Uh, so good to see everybody. And if you're here, please do say hello and say your name. And then say hi to the other folks that are here. There's just a handful of you. Oh, this is more clipping and clipping and placing versus pushing, but we're working on it. 27, 27, and I've got the creaky chair. I broke my other chair. Uh, it was an old secondhand chair that I, I grabbed one of my kids and I leant over 
and I guess I put weight on because I leant over and stretched and leaned and it cracked and snapped. <laughs> so uh, I'm back into the sweet chair. All right, 20th Panzer is going in 27-28. Let's see where that goes. 27-28. 27-28. There's 32. Oh, it's all clustered up here. So that division's going to go there. We'll put the rest of it there. Uh, it's got a few other units that go with it in that hex. That's a recon unit. And then we've got a motorized formation. And a couple of panzas. Oh, nice. There's some more motorized dudes. These are these feel like they're a little bit weaker than the AG South uh, divisions. The armor is tough, but there's like the uh, the inf infantry regiments are three three sevens, and I could, I could have sworn that uh, some of the AG South divisions, tank divisions, were stronger than that. But there you go, and that's an eight seven seven. You can't see those, but I'm, I'm really, I'm kind of reluctant to move the camera too much because uh, of the the zooming and the inability to zoom without giving everybody vertigo. So we're just going to put this AA unit underneath, and I'm actually going to put the recon unit on top because he's probably going to head out first and try and overrun some loser to start with. So we've got those guys there. Shit, it looks like I'm going to need my tweezers. I need another sip of my beverage. So, uh, Devin, you're, you're picking up an RPG play and going to stream it live or something? Is that what I hear? That's a rumor on the street. 27.30. Yeah, and I'm a long way from getting started here. We're just, we're just putting units on the board, hanging out, not expecting anyone to get excited about this and uh, feel free to down thumb it as needed. Uh, but I just was having a hankering to catch up with you guys. I don't know Jester, dude. Tell me, uh, tell me who else is playing in your RPG session. even know what fantasy ground is is that some sort of uh, piece of software 2733 that's here is that here nope 31 2, 3. Ooh, front line here we go and engineers and uh infantry here so engineers infantry here that'll be fun because we'll be, a be able to attack that strong point and mitigate that uh that plus one differential and then we're going to put the seventh panzer out Yeah, it doesn't sound like uh, my uh, my group of people. A Star Wars YouTuber? What the hell is a Star Wars YouTuber? Like a game Star Wars? Or does he talk about the movies? I think I've seen, I think I posted a video. Uh, I did a live, uh, I reposted a live stream of some guy who was doing uh, uh, D and D playthrough in a dungeon, a dungeon crawler, and um, it didn't wasn't very well received on the blog, but but uh, it was nice to put something different out for a change. Twenty eight, twenty nine, twenty eight, twenty nine, right here, and there goes the air conditioning is off now, and we need three three doohickeys. And since I don't have to do these out, we're going to put this here because we get three uh, supply <coughs> there. Okay, and we're going to keep going. So there's that. So I can manage to drive everybody away. Um, Ninth Army's 2831. It's a bridging unit. Right? 
You can't actually kill those things. They, they just go with the forces. There's, there's nothing in the hex with it, which is kind of unusual. 28, 33, 32, 33. Uh, what else has been going on, Devin? I saw you you've wrapped up your last series. That went okay by the looks of it. it looked like a lot of fun. I need to work out how to do hangouts on my stream off my phone. That wouldn't make me happy. Okay. 29, 29. Right here. Drinking a, uh, up a uh, Manhattan, and I bought this new sort of variation on a vermouth called Amaro or Amaro, depending on what hemisphere you're from. And uh, it's a particular type, and it's very, very flavorful. It's got a bit of sweet flavor to it, which goes really well with the rye. It's kind of cool. All right, 3030, C3030. And here's another SS unit that is incorrectly marked. Dang it. 30, 30, 30, 30. So we're lined up to launch into Lithuania here. Now for those that have hung around, you will get to see their full setup for the Russians. And it's pretty damn thin. Okay, now here's another one, fourth SS. It's a, it's a 236. And you can see it has no uh, setup hex here either. And 4th SS Regiment, Infantry or Motorized Regiment here, is actually a 126 on the chart here. But it does go in hex 3031, and that's the good news. So we know where it goes. All right, we're cranking along here. This is going to be, I'm basically going to do about 25% of the setup, or 30% of the setup, if things go well, if I can handle, if my back can handle it sitting here at this odd angle, reaching around the camera to put things on the map. Uh, and, and we're now going to put the 12th Panzer formation out, which all these Panzer formations have an identical setup with the uh, two obvious motorized uh, infantry regiments, the recon battalion and the, uh, it's actually a tank regiment. Uh, and what's interesting, as opposed to the EFS system, EFS I think breaks it up into battalions. So there's going to be two tank battalions in a, in a German division in EFS. So we've got uh, this little recon battalion and then you've got this guy who's a regiment, an 867. And then two of these dudes. And they all total up to eight stacking points, which leaves just enough, surprisingly, to put an engineering unit with it if you need it. So you can crack a strong point or some such. 31, 30, right here. Man, look, so look. <laughs> look, I am going to move the camera because this is kind of cool. See, if you, uh, if you hang around, you'll see good things. Let's have a look at just just here, right? We've got infantry regiment, infantry regiment, infantry regiment with a defense of one, of two, of two. That's an NKVD border unit that's basically crap. And we have one, two, three full panzer divisions. I need my tweezers. A couple of infantry divisions. Yeah, that's another infantry division. Yeah, I mean, that is just going to be like a monster bit. I think that's not it. That's, oh, that is an infantry division. Where's that motorized unit? Oh, here's the motorized unit right here. In the background. You know, probably put those guys into some sort of reserve mode. So that's pretty powerful, right? That's going to be so interesting to work out where to send them and how to send them. I put these red arrows on the map to 
and I've already done, I think, some pictures on this on the big board on Facebook. I don't think I've done anything on my blog yet. But the red arrows are highlighting the German proposed lines of advance. The red blocks are the key areas that the Russians will have decided that they want to defend. And the red and green discs are the VPs. Number of discs equals number of VPs. Red discs equal two. And you can see we've kind of got this layered defense approach going on. Uh, the, the, the four, for want of a better term, meeples in the background there. The furthest to the right is Smolensk. And then, of course, you have Vitebsk, uh, Orsha, and, uh, and Mogilev there. Uh, are the other three and then you've got the southern section down here which of course there's barely anything and there's a lamp and we've got breast down here which is not really very strongly defended so I'm going to be very curious how long that lasts uh, in this game in terms of time uh, because that was supposed to be quite a, f a fierce and desperate and costly battle Maybe it took a while because they didn't attack initially and just held off. I don't know, but um, I suspect if I have the right units, I'm going to take that first turn. If it's done right, anyway. All right, we're going to put some more guys on. We're going to bring some of the 18th motorized units, which are kind of spread around a little bit. Uh, 31, 31, right here. I missed a, I missed a clip. Uh, there's another 18th motorized guy right there. There's a rocket launcher chappies. Not terribly useful. Uh, we're seeing the right circumstances. Of course, now we've got a whack of artillery. It's got to go somewhere. 31, 33, so right nearby. A couple of hexes to the south. Uh, it's four. Artillery regiments, wow. And it appears that I have put the wrong unit out, so we just caught an error on my part. That's always good. 214 versus a 215, different movement rate. This guy has a different movement rate from all the others. That's very typical and inconvenient. We'll put him on the top so that we know that everybody has to move differently. 31, 33. Okay, this is where it gets weird. Oh, it's, there's a road. Look, there's a little trail through there. Aha, uh -huh. hidden in the woods. Very, very interesting. Huh. Okay. I'm going to carry on. 32, 33. 18th, uh, the, the third and final unit from the 18th motorized is going to go with an engineering unit somewhere. 32, 33, there's 32, 1, 2, 3 right here in the woods, no less. Oh, but look, there's nothing in that strong point yet. And now this is where I start to get worried. There are, there are a handful of strong point units <laughs> that are uh, sitting all by the little lonesomes. And I'm not sure that I've missed, have not missed something in setup. So I'm going to have to go back through the whole shebang and double check everything before we even get started. I've got some rules I need to check up on too. I've got to reread the, the rail tank gun armored tank armored rail car things rules. And I also have to reread the flotilla rules as well. Uh, they, they, they're a little funky. All right. Hex 30, 33. So clearly this hex is important, but there is no unit there. And it would appear that I have neglected to grab a specific guy. We'll grab this guy, even though it's not the right one. We'll do as a placeholder for the time being. And we've got uh, gun emplacements that be on their deployed side. Any hex in Germany on map C, I'm going to put them to one side. They actually have 
graphic guns deployed, which is really cute. But it's a very tiny icon, I'll show it to you. These little doohickeys. Cute. I've got these guys here. Uh, let's see. Any hacks in Germany in C. So we'll put them right here for the moment. We'll put a marker on them to remind us if something has to happen with them later. And that, let's see. That is all this. <laughs> well, that was quick. That's all the stuff I have to that I have punched out. So let's keep going. If you're happy to hang out, I'm happy to keep the stream going. But I'm gonna have to punch stuff out now. And I've got a, I've got a mark on the, on the board where I was up to, so I'm up to here. So I shall move this so that you can see and. Uh, also give you a little bit of a look at the map as well. There we go. So I'm going to start from where that, this die is here. So this might get a little tedious. You know what? I don't think you need to be bothered seeing all this. I will, uh, I will check back in in a little while <laughs> as I punch out these guys and find their appropriate homes and clip them and put them on the board. So uh, I was just Glad I could check in with you guys and look forward to catching up real soon. Take care.